In five years, nearly a million Americans have served military tours in Iraq. Their war experience have left some bitter and disillusioned about what they've seen and done there. There's a term, once a Marine, always a Marine, but there's also the term, eat the apple, F the core. I don't work for you no more. At this conference of war veterans, some said they often witnessed cover-ups of the killing of unarmed civilians. We would carry these weapons or, you know, or shovels with us because uh, in case we accidentally did shoot a civilian, we could just toss the, uh, the weapon on the body and make them look like they were an insurgent. My officers explicitly told me and my fellow Marines that if we felt threatened by an Iraqi's presence, we should just shoot them and the officers would quote unquote take care of us. The former soldiers and Marines said the official rules limiting force were routinely ignored or violated with the consent of their superiors. We fired indiscriminately and unnecessarily at this building. We never got a body count. We never got a casualty count afterwards. Ladies and gentlemen, things like that happen every day in Iraq. We react out of fear. And they said videos they shot document their allegations of indiscriminate violence ordered by their commanders. In this video, he states, I think I just killed half the population of Northern Ramadi, F the red tape. A Pentagon spokesman said it fully investigates all reports of misconduct and holds individuals accountable when appropriate. But outside the conference, pro-war demonstrators challenged the veterans' stories. If they cared about the atrocities that they claim, they go before a court, they go before the proper military channels to do it. They don't want to do that. You know, some of those people, uh, to put it quite bluntly, they can go to hell. Former Captain Luis Carlos Montalvan spent 17 years in the Army, two in Iraq. He has the medals to prove his honorable service and a bag full of pills he takes daily to treat the physical and mental wounds he brought back. No one, he says, should question the credibility or patriotism of veterans who've turned against the war. What makes America great is that we are able to engage in dialogue, that we are able to express our opinions. Recent public opinion surveys indicate that Americans are paying less attention to the war as U.S. casualties have dropped over the past 18 months. But these veterans say they intend to keep reminding them of the continuing toll of the war on both Americans and Iraqis. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Washington.